टूडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सिंपल इक्वेशन कंसिडर द गिवन एक्सप्रेशन कैन यू फाइंड द मिसिंग नंबर इट इज वेरी इजी इज इंट इट वी कैन पुट फोर हियर सो दैट फोर प्लस फाइव विल बी नाइन इट इज वेरी इजी इन अ लाइफ वी कम अक्रॉस मैनी सिचुएशन where we have some unknown number say for example rahul is purchasing some pens shopkeeper sell pens at rate of rupees 5 per pen the total price of pens can be written like this often it becomes difficult to do mathematical calculations when it involves blanks as shown a better way is to write a letter such as x at the place of unknown number we call it a variable we can use any letter as a variable variable means a number that can vary that is a number which can take different values if we think about number 15 it has a fixed value we can say that it is a constant the mathematical expression formed using the variables and the constants is called an algebraic expression here we can put any value at the place of x say for example if rahul wants to purchase four pens then we can solve the expression with the value x as 4 which comes out to be rupees 20 or we can also put any value at the place of x to find the price of that many number of pens often we set a limit on the value of variable for example say rahul has rupees 50 with him how many pens can he buy if he uses all money he got that means here the result of price of one pen multiplied by number of pens is that is 5x should be equal to the money rahul got we can write it as 5x is equal to 50 here we cannot write any value for x there should be specific value of x which when multiplied with 5 this means that we have put a condition on the value of variable the condition is that two expression should have equal value such an expression which put condition on the value of variable is called an equation in an equation there is always an equality sign the equality sign shows that the value of expression to the left of the sign that is the left hand side or lhs is equal to the value of expression to the right of the sign that is the right hand side or rhs if the value of variable is limited then how can we find that value The value of variable which satisfies the equation is called the solution of equation. Let's understand how to find the solution of equation. Consider the equation. We can think of the equation as mechanical weighing scale which has two sides. The left hand side and the right hand side which can be written as LHS and RHS respectively. In the weighing scale If we put some weight on LHS then we have to put equal weight on RHS as well as bring it in a balanced state In the same way we can go on doing operations on both sides to reduce the equation in the form say variable is equal to value Let's try it for this equation Here we have to eliminate 5 from LHS 5x is same as 5 multiplied by x or x multiplied by 5 since 5 is multiplied to x so to eliminate it we have to divide lhs by 5 since we are dividing lhs by 5 to balance the equation we must divide rhs by 5 as well we can cancel 5 from numerator and denominator of lhs so we get x in lhs similarly we can divide 50 by 
in the RHS side, so we get 10 on this side. Here, x is equal to 10. That means, when the value of x is 10, the equation will be satisfied. Let's check it. If we put x is equal to 10 in the equation, then 5 multiplied by 10 will be 50, which is same as RHS. Thus, we say that x is equal to 10 is the solution of the equation. Here, note that dividing by 5 on both sides is the same as taking 5 on LHS to RHS by changing the multiplication operation to division. We call such a way of solving equation as transposing. We will understand more about it through some examples in the next video. I hope you understood this video very well. Thanks for watching this video. For more videos, visit learnfatafat.com.